been over a year since I last read my vows to you. And yet somehow, I love you more today than ever before. I'm so blessed and privileged to have found a woman of valor like you, like it talks about in Proverbs. You are compassionate, caring, gracious, humble, wise, tender-hearted, strong in character, and a seeker of righteousness. I really am undeserving of such a special woman and, for, and am thankful for who you are in my life. Shana, I will continue to look to God for my strength so that he may enable me to protect and provide for you, to lead you and be a partner to you, to be faithful to you at all times and to love you as our Messiah loves us. I promise to continue to pursue a relationship with our Heavenly Father so that I may become more like him and in turn a better husband to you. I will allow Jesus, Yeshua, to instruct and guide us in our life's journey together. I choose to love you with joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control, especially when we reach our darkest moments. It's been exciting starting a home with you, and I look forward to the rest of our life's journey together. To my gorgeous wife, I look back over our first year of marriage and I think about all the fun and challenges we've had starting a life together. I seriously can't believe how quickly the time has passed. We have learned throughout our marriage how to carry each other's burdens each day and how to encourage one another. Shana, you have been a steady presence when chaos seems to surround us. You consistently surprise me with your patience, love, and support of me as your husband. I think about your character as a woman of God, and I recognize why he put you in my life. As an ambitious couple, we will be able to overcome many obstacles as long as we keep God in the middle. I believe we have crafted an unbreakable bond between us, which will make us a force to be reckoned with in this world. I pray that God makes our relationship an example of his love on earth and provides light to those who are hurting or in need. After getting married last year, a void in my life was filled with a deep love for you. You are the most excellent thing in my life and the best wife I could have ever dreamed for. Honestly, my life is a thousand or even a million times better with you in it. I am blessed to call you my wife, my partner, and my lover. I love you with all my heart. Love your husband, Aaron. Aaron, on a beautiful sunny day in February in front of our families, you chose me to be your wife. It was such a special moment. Everything from the vows we shared from our hearts to the kiss to Matt declaring us Mr. and Mrs. Motai. I couldn't have asked for a better wedding day. On this day, nearly a year later, we get to celebrate our marriage in front of our closest friends and family. On this day, I still choose you. Aaron, this past year, we have grown so much as a couple. I want you to know how much you mean to me. You encourage me to cast my cares on him and to remind me that he is our rock. You have made me a better person, and in this marriage, I wish to be the best version of myself. Together, I believe we can be even better. Lord willing, we will do amazing things and honor God in our marriage. I am so grateful for these special times, and I am beyond blessed to call you my husband. I can't wait to see what God has in store for us. One year ago, I promised to love you till death do us part. Today, I still promise to love you and to be true to you, your wife. Shayna, Mrs. Motai. Hey, beautiful. Hi. How do I look? I love that dress. <laughs> wow, so stunning. You look beautiful and gorgeous. You look more handsome today than you did last year. Really? How's that possible? I don't know. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you too. It's a nice dress. Just Can't a, wait to dance with you. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Aaron, today I still choose you to be my husband. As your wife, I promise to encourage you when you feel down, to fully support your dreams and aspirations, and to pray for you daily. I promise to celebrate your triumphs and love you all the more for your failures. 
I promise to laugh at your corny jokes, even when they're not funny. I promise to stand by your side as we experience the highs and lows of life together. During times of work and times of rest, during times of joy and times of sorrow. When I'm proud of you and when I'm disappointed in you, I vow to, ne to never give up on you because love never fails. Together we will continue building a life far better than either of us could imagine alone. things that I really learned from Aaron is not to judge a, a book by its cover because I, like I said I never would have imagined being friends with someone like him but he proved me wrong and no honestly seriously though I would I it's because of Aaron that I don't judge people's book by their cover so thank you for that Having a sister is one of the greatest things growing up. Every inside joke and every memory I have with you is on a family vacation, and I'm glad we could grow up together. I've literally watched Shana grow, mature, and evolve into the striking woman that is uh, her today. Shana is truly beautiful on the inside as she is on the outside. Erin, I've known you since we were kids at the synagogue. While our paths went separate ways for a while, I'm happy that they crossed again when you started dating Shana. I knew that Aaron had no choice but to become a permanent part of our family because of his support and encouragement of Shana. As you can see, separately, Shana and Aaron are each phenomenal individuals. Together, they're unstoppable. They have the marriage that everyone wants and everybody hopes for. They're truly a perfect match, and I know that they'll be able to enjoy life's journey as friends, soulmates, and as husband and wife. Let today be the building blocks for all the years to come. May your days be filled with much love and laughter, and may your days be filled with memories together. To Aaron and Shana Motai.